from a working method to change the live event countdown timer date, activating the event early by doing so, flying the robot to the moon. We also have a crazy theory today. Fortnite fully messed up and leaked a part of the live event early. Leak. If you touch the live event countdown in-game, new location unlocked Ice Moon shows up with a weird on-screen effect. Fortnite is currently aware of this issue. Is this real? I have no idea. But hold on, is the counter in-game? I didn't even see it. Um, I think that's the wrong place for the in-game event countdown. There is a huge deep meaning if you look in the sky, apparently the live event countdown timer is right here, literally in the sky. It is fully hidden in the sky and this is not on accident. You might just be thinking Fortnite accidentally put it in the wrong spot. The location isn't there yet because we have not reached the day of the event, but this is where the ice moon is most likely going to be and that is where we're going to be standing. Before we build up and touch it, Fortnite is very sneaky, so let's go to the exact same location where that countdown is and drop fully down and glitch under the map. Obviously, there's already a robot arm in the water. Dropping fully down to the exact same area was Fortnite sneaky enough to put another part of either the robot or the live event under the map. Interestingly enough, when you drop down, you go exactly to a 7 outpost. Could this be a very important part of the event? Comment down below your thoughts. But to glitch under the map, all you have to do is go all the way across, and BAM! We are now under. Is there anything Robot 2.0 related under this map? It doesn't look like it. There's a weird mark. I think that's just from the road. I'm not sure. But let's build to the countdown timer and see, will anything happen? Okay, we are literally right under the timer itself. All we need is some that. To the countdown timer we go. Imagine if we touch it and it says new location unlocked ice moon. I don't know if this is real, but I would poop my pants. Is that gross? Yeah, it probably is. All right, building up. We don't have much time. The storm is coming in. How far away is this timer? I have no idea. Come on, building up, still building up. Where is the timer in the sky? That's a good time to mention. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe right now or else you will miss the live event. You don't want to risk it. Okay, we're completely out of mats now. I looked in replay and it does not seem even possible to get to the timer in space. In the air, it's past max height. I think that myth is busted, but comment down below your thought. There is a huge issue with this new live event teaser just released. The teaser is supposed to be showing a replacement arm from the Monster vs. Robot live event. As you can see right here, the Devourer ripped the arm off of the robot right here it flies into the water and the brand new replacement arm is being put off this is where things get very bad because if you go to the water you would think the robot arm that has been here the entire chapter should be gone but ladies and gentlemen the robot arm is still fully here completely untouched Keep in mind, this robot armor randomly got added at the beginning of the chapter, and knowing Fortnite, everything happens for a reason. This arm looks completely untouched and completely unharmed, besides from the fact that it got disconnected from the robot itself. So why is it still there? Why did the Seven not even attempt to put it back on the new robot? In the comic, it's confirmed Paradigm joined the IO. Do you remember the mecha, the one built by the Paradigm? The Paradigm is the missing member of the Seven. It's a delicate issue. She has betrayed them changed part and joined the imagined order. This was a theory for a while now, but now it's confirmed this is bad. However, things get even crazier because this new image in the lobby was just released today. The robot is almost fully built and it's blue. It's colors of the set. And we know that Paradigm is on the ice moon itself building the robot. So if Paradigm's evil on the ice moon, why would she be building a seven robot with seven icons, seven logos everywhere? Is there a possibility now that we know she's evil, she painted the Mecha Blue on purpose, Colors of the Seven as a trap. She is pretending to be on the side with the Seven, and she's fully planning on betraying them. If this is true, then a second robot will be needed to fight the evil robot, and that is why this arm might be still here in the water. The real Seven could be using this arm to fight the Paradigm's robot. That's just my personal theory. Could this robot be completely evil? Comment down below. And if you don't believe me, you want proof that Paradigm is evil. We have the four pilots of the mech. Obviously, we are going to be controlling them during the live events. And then we have Paradigm standing on the other side. She looks fully evil along with this robot itself. This all connects to a very important Ice King theory we talked about yesterday. We learned that the Ice King is from the Ice Moon. It was also learned that you are not normally able to survive on the Ice Moon. So how is Paradigm surviving? And why is there so much ice and frost surrounding her? Come back here if I'm wrong, but I am 
strongly believing that Paradigm is no longer Paradigm. She is evil and she is now the Ice Queen. Comment down below your thoughts. This is where things get crazy. If I uncheck set time automatically and then I change my date and time, let's go one day in the past, May 29th. Don't make fun of me. I already had my date wrong. And now all we are going to do is watch the countdown timer. Apparently, you can change the amount of days left. Imagine if you set it forward to June 4th. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh my... Hold on, I just literally changed. Guys, it works, it literally works. What happens if I change the date and time to June 4th at exactly 4 p.m. when the event is supposed to be happening? I have no idea if this is going to work, but could I glitch the lobby? Let's hit change in three, two, one. No, it's still the same. Imagine if that worked. This is the moon right up there in the sky. And what if I told you we can play another part of the live event fully early? We are on this base right here and apparently the mech is somewhere around here. This is another concept of what we are going to be seeing during the event. There is the mech and I am not joking. Apparently we can fly this mech into space onto the moon. Okay, all we have to do I think is go right over here and there should be somewhere around here a button mech entrance. We can go inside of the mech. No way, what is about to happen? Come on. Oh, that's so cool. So this is a a recreation of how the event is going to go. We are going to go inside of these doors. I'm not fully sure if this is 100% accurate, but now that we are on top of these doors, oh my gosh, the mecha team leader. We are going to be able to drive inside of the mecha team leader and go to the moon. I don't know exactly where the entrance is. Let's look all the way around. This is obviously the first version of the mech, but somewhere on this moon, we are going to be taking the robot. All right, keep on going around there should be an entrance i don't know if this is a hundred percent oh there's the doors guys we're about to take the mech to the moon open up the doors and let's enter in the mech this is so sick three two one let's go inside oh we are now inside of the mech and apparently we could go straight to the moon i don't know what this is even going to look like launch to the moon it's actually real obviously yes this is a creative map but there are theories and leaks showing that the event is going to be very similar launch to the moon. Oh my gosh. We are now in the mech taking it to the moon itself. This is the coolest thing. How is the mecha team leader going to look like on the moon? Hyperspace activated destination the moon. Prepare for a takeoff in 10, 9, 8. This is insane. Okay. How is this going to look like? You're now on the moon. We are now on the moon itself. This is the moon's ice base. And there is the mecha team leader on the moon. Obviously, this is a recreation. But if we actually launch the mech to space on the moon, that would be insane. 